European drivers crashing red lights or committing offences in other EU member states are soon to be held accountable for. That's according to new proposals by the European Parliament. But joining me here today to discuss this in more detail is Ines Elayasander, the Spanish Socialist MEP, who's been working on this report as the Rapporteur. So tell me a little bit more about this report and its objective. Well, um, I think that uh, we are we are dealing with this uh, important and crucial uh, uh, matter since uh, 2008. Uh, but uh, we met uh, after Commission and Parliament. We were very happy to extend and to in, to, to to enforce uh, the measures in order to avoid impunity of uh, uh, offence uh, drivers uh, in in their non-resident uh, country. Uh, well, the Council was not very happy as they were always. Uh, some member states and since 2008 we were struggling to 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 uh, make this uh, this uh, matter advance but finally with the belgian presidency and now with the hungarian uh, they took on on their hands and uh, now we are ready to uh, and we've we've made the agreement in the end with the council to make this first step i think that is crucial in order to um, um, to establish a system of uh, of information, then the different uh, authorities of the member states can exchange the information concerning these offenders. Because there's already some information available online. I was reading some statistics, European statistics, that say that one in three people have a higher chance of, of committing an offence when they're another an EU member state, um, that yeah. they wouldn't dare to do it in their own country, yeah, yeah, like because, well, they know light. That they know that uh, uh, they, these these offences uh, stay impune because there's no there were so no these communication. Are scot free yeah, at the moment uh, because they, they were not uh, communication between the different systems of the uh, police information and also the possibility to uh, to follow up this uh, this uh, sanction. So what's your gut feeling then? When do you think that this will become a reality then? Well, um, in two years, uh, as far as if, if we vote uh, um, this week, then in two years the, the member states should have uh, made the, the transposition, then it will, it will start working. And then the member states will have to make a report because we were very aware that we need to adjust uh, because some of, the, you know, some of the offenses are under the administrative level, the others are on the penal level, and we need to make some adjustments. Then we were on that, uh, I think, uh, as pragmatic as uh, the, the, the crucial issue is, is important and vital for, for citizens, for European citizens, then I think that uh, in two years we will have already results and in five years uh, we have this, uh, the declaration of the Commission that they will, be, they will come up with the, the evaluation of, the, of the, how the, the system works and uh, new proposals for enforcement and follow-up of the, of the system. Little by little. Okay, we'll be yeah. keeping an eye on that. Thank you very much. That was Ines Laiasender, the Spanish Social MEP, thank you very much for having coffee with me. Thank you very much for your coffee. <laughs>